hi hello welcome all thanks for your support so today we are going to discuss about the difference between plc and scada so this is going to be the most important repeated interview question if you are going to attend the interview in core industries okay so i'm going to make you to understand so it is going to be a little lengthy video i'm sorry for that uh, please listen the entire video so that you will you can able to give the clear answer when you go for an interview what is the difference between plc and scada what is the difference between plc and hmi so can run the industries that means the machines by using scada and hmi so this is going to be the repeated interview question maximum you can expect this question when you go for an interview they will try to confuse you okay so now first understand what is nothing but plc so plc is programmable logical controller controller the name itself there is a answer so keep in your mind and what is the next dcs so dcs is also one of the controller and next one hmi hmi means human machine interfacing okay and scada supervisory controlling and data aggregation fine so now we will discuss little elaborate so you know all the things in it, it will be in your house so washing machine simple so in a washing machine there will be a display unit right so in there there will be a lot of buttons so by using the buttons you will change the mode like you may have to wash or spinning so those things you will do so once if you set you can able to see the remaining timing on the display so for an example 6 some 6 minutes is remaining or 5 minutes so last a few minutes so this will indicate in a display am i right like the same uh, you'll be having a controller so back side of this board there will be a controller so when both comes together then the machine is running am i right so depends upon your command now so you are going to give the feed feed the values according to that it is going to give the out right so now uh, if i'm asking with you that you have only the display unit that means the button which you can able to feed the values only it is available in front of you can you control the washing machine no you can't able to control the washing machine without controller so there must be one controller right so there is a controller this controller is accepting the command from the keyboard and according to the value what you are going to feed and based on that it is going to run washing or spinning something is happening am i right like the same when you go for industries there must be a controller that is nothing but plc okay so we want to give some feedback for for that particular feedback that means to change the temperature uh, some flow or uh, speed for that we need some devices that is going to be one device name called hmi so you can see here so in that display uni display board and control board that is what i'm trying to say it is nothing but hmi and controller i'll give you another one more example which you can easily understand it's a day by day life you can see this is atm so automatic teller machine you know well about it so you can see the uh, display so in the display you have to give the values for an example you want to withdraw or deposit uh, these things you'll give and whatever you give whatever the machine is taking some actions that you can able to see on the display am i right which mean whatever you give it is going to the controller and controller is going to verify your account and it is going to give the feedback am i right so there is a controller is it right there is a display name called it's also hmi human machine conversions okay so human level language is converted to machine level language machine level language is converted to human level language so you can able to see in a display what exactly happening it will tell you please wait for a moment within a, so please withdraw take your amount so thanks for your uh, i mean service like that too you will get lot of feedbacks in a display which mean so it is giving what exactly happening inside so now you just imagine i'm going to give only the display by using the display can you control the machine if there is no controller so the controller must be there the controller has to cross verify the account based on your account balance or something it, then it has to give some response 
okay so what the machine is doing that you cannot able to understand and suppose if you are in front of the machine if you are telling that i need 500 rupees or maybe i need some so and so rupees so will you will the atm machines will give the money no it cannot able to understand for that we need one device so that device is called hmi human machine interfacing so human level language is converted to machine level language machine level language is converted to human level language only this is are you clear so that is what i'm trying to say so you have an a device so you have a plc so what i told you on the previous uh, videos so the plc is the controller it is going to control the machines am i right based on the feedback what is could be the feedback from the field you have to take some feedbacks based on the feedback based on the program it will control the machines am i right so now you can see it's very clear the plc is the controller the plc is going to control the mechanical setups that mean the machineries okay and whatever it's happened or whatever is happening it will give you the feedback to the plcs okay so in front of the plc if you are standing so whatever it is happening in the field you cannot able to understand and suppose if you want to change the temperature pressure flow speed by standing in front of the controller if you are saying something it cannot able to understand am i right for that we need a device so the hmi will act, it will show the things whatever is happening inside of the plc are you clear i uh, understand very clearly whatever is happening in the field it is getting updated to the plc okay so now the plc has received all the status that it has to show in front of you for that we need device that is nothing but hmi human machine interfacing okay and whatever you want to change on that that you can change it that data will go to the plc according to the value what you have been given to the controller according to that it is going to control the machineries so simply if you are having hmi directly if i want to control the equipment means it is not possible 100 percentage it is not possible okay so we must need a controller okay it may be plc or may be dcs the controller is important without controller you cannot able to control the plant are you clear so now nearby the machines if you want to from the uh, nearby the machine itself if you want to change the values then you have to go for a hmi human machine interfacing in this hmi you cannot able to store huge amount of historical data uh, depends upon the memory very less uh, number uh, less amount of data can be stored but you may have to store the uh, 10 days 20 days or one year two years data so you want to see each and every day actions so re selected rejected those things and all you have to monitor so for that so you have to control from the control room itself so for that we have to go for a scada so scada is also the same whatever it is happening in the field that will come to the controller so whatever it is updating in the controller that we want to see in a display for that we have an a systems so in a systems we have some software by using that software we have to integrate to the plc so the data will come to the screen we can able to see the data and if you are going to change some parameter changes that will get updated to the plc or dcs and based on that value what you have what you are going to give and based on that the changes will happen in the field are you clear so by using the scada in your uh, computer if you are having a scada software directly if you are trying to control the machinery is how it is possible no it is not 100 percentage possible so there must be some controller whatever we are giving from the system that has to go directly to the plc or dcs based on your value that will control your field are you clear that means machinery is plant so whatever it is happening in the plant that will come to the plc so that will that is going to be updated display the status in your screen that's it so it's very simple so from the machine itself nearby the machine itself if you want to control the uh, 
some mesh, i mean uh, movements to change the temperatures so we need we need some device that is called hmi human machine interfacing okay so from the control room if you want to monitor and if you want to control for that we have to go for a scada so when you go for an interview they will confuse you by using a hmi by using a hascada whether it is possible to control the machinery is the plant directly okay so you have to give the right answer you have to talk boldly that it is not possible we must need a controller without controller we cannot be able to control that you have to tell with them are you clear so most probably you can expect this uh, question when you go for a interview are you clear so i hope you understood the difference between the controller and the scada so once again i will recall so from the machinery itself if you want to change some parameters for that we have to go for a hmi okay from the control room if you want to change the values then we have to go for a scada okay so in the scada we can able to store huge amount of data depends upon your system memory capability so historical data is real time data is um, like a lot lot of things ha- can be done in a scada but uh, data storage the huge amount of do- data storage can't be done in a hmi only a very little bit data can be stored in a hmi okay without plc or controller you can't control the machineries fixed clear so hope you understood this uh, topic if you have any doubts please command it i will try to clear your doubts and if you like my video please share this video to your friends uh, like whoever is studying in pre final year or maybe final year or those who finish the engineering so they can see this video and you can give a boldly you can give the answers and you will get selected okay so all the best have a nice day thank you